All right, so today Scuf unveiled the Vantage 2 controller, which is coming in tandem with the Modern Warfare game, which I am super pumped about. Um, the Vantage one was not very well received, and I'm surprised that Scuf decided to keep the name and to release such, uh, you know, an upgrade, so to speak, the second iteration of Vantage in such a short time because if you look on videos online for the Vantage 2, most of them fall into one of two categories. One, people who were paid or given this controller basically as part of a press or promotional kit who loved it and had nothing but raving reviews to say about it. And the other camp of people are people who legitimately bought it with their own money, played it, and hated it for a lot of different reasons. And I am really surprised that a lot of those criticisms haven't been met here. And it worries me. Um, I'm a big fan of pro controllers. You know I love the Elite Controller. I think it's a phenomenal piece of hardware. I do like the DualShock 4, though, a lot as well. But I wish it had the paddles and the bumpers on the back and some of the more pro tuning, which is what this controller is, you know, trying to do. So what we have here is uh, a limited edition Modern Warfare 2 edition, and these skins are replaceable. Um, so these actually do pop off. So the fact that this is a limited edition, don't get too excited in the sense that you could probably later on buy this piece here and replace it with your own piece. Uh, the touchpad may be a slightly different story, but uh, it's cool. I like it. And you guys know I do like collector edition and limited edition type things. I think this does look Modern Warfare-y, <laughs> if that is a word. Modern Warfare-ish, I guess. Sounds a little more manly. Uh, it's got the map. You can see it's got a crosshair, kind of like what you'd expect to see when you're using some of the gadgets. And you got the tactical map here and some little markings, like military type markings here. It's not bad. I mean, there are definitely way better uh, designs, uh, particularly from the Xbox Pope and some of the other collector edition controllers that I have reviewed, but it's not bad. Um, also worth noting, because of the uh, button placement, the extra grip here is actually asymmetrical. It's actually cut in. Um, obviously, it's not behind the uh, O button. Surprising, though, that they decided to keep it behind the left analog stick. I don't know why they didn't just run this up, but tomato, tomato, you like it, you don't like it. That's for you to decide. I'm personally not interested in it because of so much criticism that I have seen from the original Scuff Vantage. Now, it does come with the full uh, studio here, which includes a slew of mappings, including trigger customizations and changing of D-pads and motors and remapping the paddles and drift and delay, etc. A lot of tuning has gone into this controller. You plug it into your PC, you basically flash the BIOS, so to speak, to get your preferred customization. And um, you know, they, they, they really mark, market themselves on this ruggedized look and feel for a very long time. Uh, Scuff was definitely a household name. Maybe not so much so now. Definitely was a household name a long time ago, though. In terms of precision and aftermarket controllers, if you had a Scuff, you were the real deal. Because one, they were expensive. And two, they just had a different feel to them. So the Vantage 2 tries to capitalize on all that, you know, put a different uh, put a different coat of paint on the original Vantage, try to say it's better, flash, you know, all these fancy pictures, show you some of the pre-customizations that they feel that you could, you know, potentially put on your controller, download these configurations and jump right into the fray. Um, they're obviously selling and pushing really hard right now the Modern Warfare 2 controller which runs you uh, $220 US, which is very expensive. Um, this is the wireless iteration though, and they'll give you a 
I don't know, little gimmies, grabbies, whatever. There you can see the whole controller broken out. Now, the biggest problem I have with the Scuff in all the reviews I've read, and I've never bought one. Scuff has never sent me a demo unit. I've been begging for them to send me one because I'd like to try it and give you guys an honest opinion. Uh, you can't buy this reviewer, okay? Um, <laughs> but I'd like to try it. Um, the problem that I've been seeing is uh, the controllers have a significant amount of dead zone in them. So it takes a significant amount of pull to actually make the controller move, uh, the character move, whether with the left or right analog stick. Uh, I think that's really, really important for noting because that delay will inevitably make it feel like lag. You'll feel like you're lagging because it's taking you longer to do everything. Now, you can go into the custom software and manipulate this, but for the price point that the original Scuff Vantage was, which was a little cheaper than this, um, you should not have to do that. The other problem that I have read about from many reviewers was that the programming on the back constantly gets deleted and that the controller constantly loses sync with your console. So you'll be in the middle of a game and it'll just turn off or the Bluetooth button will not turn on the console or pressing the button will not bring up the menu to you know, navigate the uh, to navigate the OS of your console, and that is really um, disheartening too. I think a lot of this is based on the fact that this controller was built from the ground up. This was not built from an existing DualShock for all of the guts and gizzards and form factor and everything you see here was built from scratch. And I think that's an uh, important, uh, really important point to make because I think what made the Elite controller work so well, not just because it was from the uh, OEM, but because they took a base existing model and just tacked on more goodies to it. This is basically doing everything from ground up and clearly based on these negative feedback that I have seen online, that's probably got a lot to do with it. But I wanted to be fair and cover this video. I was debating if I wanted to talk about it because I didn't have a, one, a lot of wonderful things to say about it. I think it's extremely overpriced and I do not think that it is built well. But prove me wrong, Scuff, or somebody um, set one of these up at a store so I can go check it out. Mail me a demo unit. I will pay you shipping back and forth. I just want to try it, hold it in my hand and see. I've heard a lot of bad things about it. I think the price is high, and based on what I've seen, I think the build quality is subject. But don't let me stop you. Don't let one man's hate for scuff stop you. If you want yours, it just went live today. All you got to do is click that button right there and pre-order your very own Modern Warfare Vintage 2 controller that serves dual-hatted for both the PS4 and the PC and you'll have it just in time to play Modern Warfare on the PlayStation 4 Pro, my preferred console of choice for the game. And maybe I'll see you online. And if you kill Viper Magic, you could say, ah, dummy, you didn't have the Vantage 2, and I did. And I'll say, yep, maybe you're right. But maybe I'm wrong. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Scuff Vantage 2 or on any other Scuff products you've had. Have I totally missed the mark on this? Is it worth plunking down the price of a console to get a controller that may or may not have questionable build? Those are things I want to hear from you guys. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.